Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking. And this is a very hard week because uh, I tried a lot of things with a Caparazzi and all tests with high voltage and I fried almost everything I had. <laughs> okay, no problem, sir. But I did go on on this Rosemary Ensley test and uh, I didn't get this fantastic association not yet what I got it is this one here it is uh, almost the best one I got as you can see here this is a pulse then a very strong back current associated with a very high voltage much above the 16 volts you can see here and then a ringing brrr, and very good but I was very puzzled by this and uh, I tried a lot of things and after having read some uh, discussion on the thread I tried to shorten the wire and effectively when we, you short the wire length on the Rosemary Ensley you get different result and uh, I got this small idea press if we shorten the wire on rosemary and the circuits it diminished something uh, the, the effect but if we make a much longer wire hehe <laughs> and so why not and i made this test here i put these very simple circuits so you have the battery or the power supply here we go to a very long and i put for this a bifara tesla coil connecting in series okay then directly to the drain of the mosfet source directly to the battery no shunt nothing only to test and here my sick gen with 33 kilohertz about uh, it is not very precise and i pulse in ttl from 0 to plus 5 volts okay the MOSFET is a IR, IRFP250N and I put the probe of the scope like this. Okay, let's go to the machine. Okay, this was a long wire at the beginning, then I shortened it much much shorter and even more shorter. But tonight is a very simple circuit. Here you have the upper coil here. This is a bifurcal coil. Tesla coil uh, as per is a patent. This is a pickup coil. It is a Tesla coil also, but only one wire, not bifur. And a LED on it, okay? Now I will put 33 kilohertz and what is very interesting now I put the power on and you will see it is almost no power 10 volts no power and on the scope this trace you see we are now on 10 volt division and it goes 1 2 3 4 5 almost 50 volts repeating at 32 kilohertz as you can see mm. and at this all right we get a lead it is always a pity with this camera you don't think but the lead is really pretty bright really bright and it goes up and down up and down really bright this camera is very difficult to, to it is always very difficult to, to get light uh, efficiency but almost no power i go up now and you see when i go down at some distance it takes some more at some distance also it's modified lightly the wave mm. 
That right, is interesting. I think uh, it's worth to make some testing on it. Okay, just for uh, thing, I tried this, the same MOSFET. You can put it this way or this way, parallel or counter, and just not a lot. I'm not sure for my circuits it is good. But anyway, something is happening. It is not. It is not a sharp flyback trace as normal in uh, in the coil. It is very very uh, large, almost uh, yes. It is uh, one, two, three, plus a quarter of cycle for each pike. And on my sig gen, I am only at twenty five percent cycle. Hmm. Yeah. I have to work on it. What do you think? We have discussion on Rosemary and Lee if I am not disturbing this thread. Thank you very much for watching. Good night at all.